10 o'clock Feeding for the guap Hey YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Natural Lex Or you may know me as Chocolate Lex on YouTube And I'm back with another YouTube video for you guys today Mm-hmm and in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys why i moved from atlanta i'm gonna give y'all a heads up the story is not as juicy as you would think but i'm glad you're here anyway so that i can share this info with y'all i guess we can travel back to 2019 so like two years ago i got accepted into grad school at the end of 2019 i started grad school at the beginning of 2020 and that is also when I actually moved to Atlanta. Um, if y'all recall, I did an entire moving to Atlanta series where I kind of just documented my um, journey or whatever. I'm originally from South Carolina. Atlanta is about two hours away from my hometown. So I really wasn't too far, but back then it was just like, such a big deal for me because this was going to be my first time living outside the state of South Carolina. So I moved to Atlanta um, end of December slash early January of 2020. Well, end of December 2019, early January 2020. I started school January 2020. So that's why I moved to Atlanta in the first place. I moved for grad school. That's the only reason why I was down there. Um, if I would not have gotten into grad school, I would not have moved. Simple as that. Two months into last year, y'all already know, Rona hit. So I was living in Atlanta during the pandemic. Who would have thought? Not me. I have a few videos up on my channel already of like just living in Atlanta updates. Y'all know Atlanta is like, what they call it, Black Hollywood. It's a place where... A lot of people are interested in moving to because there's a lot of opportunities and when i say opportunities i don't just mean like for music or film there are a lot of organizations businesses down in atlanta so it's a lot of stuff down there you just have to be willing to do the work and find those opportunities i finished my master's program this past june my program was a year and a half long i kind of already knew that there was going to be a possibility that i was not going to stay but first i'm gonna back up and say that i had every intent on staying in atlanta but as life started to happen that just wasn't the best option for me I finished grad school in June and at that time I started looking for jobs actually I had started job hunting way before I finished when I was in grad school I did have a job that I worked from home but that job was not paying me the coins that I was going to need to you know maintain this lifestyle that I have which <sighs> It's really not even anything major, but I do have a YouTube channel. I am in the process of starting a business. My student loans are coming out of deferment. So I knew that funding my channel, my business and paying my bills, I was not going to be able to do that, making the money that I was making while I was in school. So I had already started job hunting. And so as I was applying, I was honestly just applying everywhere. I did not have like a specific plan if it was you know close to home a little bit kind of like within a driving distance i was applying so i was applying to places in georgia i was applying to places in north carolina um south carolina florida virginia tennessee just like kind of on the east coast but not too too far and I had some interviews, I had some rejections. I had a whole lot of rejections and a little bit of interviews. I will be making a separate video on that process. We just not on that kind of time right now. My hair is just not looking right. So yeah, basically I knew based on my job situation that there was gonna be a chance that I was going to move. When I first moved down to Atlanta, I thought that once I graduated, I was going to find a job down there and I was going to stay. As time goes on, I finally interviewed for this position, but it is the work from home. So there was not going to be any relocation involved and I was not going to have to come into the office. 
work from home permanently which means that either i could have stayed in atlanta or i could have moved anywhere that i wanted to go basically because there was no plans to bring my department or what no really the whole organization there was no plans to bring the organization back into the office anytime soon so i was like either i can stay or i can go when i started to look at my finances and doing calculations y'all know when black people get hired on at a new job the first thing that we do is we calculate how much money we're going to be making and after i did all of that i was like i could stay but if i did um i would have to either find a roommate or find a cheaper apartment where i was living at i was paying about fifteen hundred dollars in rent um that was what i signed the first time when i renewed my lease i renewed for a shorter amount of time so when i renewed i signed up for a shorter lease and that ended up being like sixteen hundred and something dollars a month for the shorter time frame my apartment complex decided to go up on the rent anyway and so for 12 months it was going to be sixteen hundred dollars if i would have renewed for 12 months so i was like either i can stay or i can go back home i chose to come back home because that's just a part of adulting you know being a fiscally responsible adult or at least trying to be you got to make decisions that you don't all the way agree with i'm not mad that i had to come back here i'm glad that i can be saving money and i'm glad that i ain't gotta be paying no high ass rent anymore but at the same time i no longer have my own space and um we'll leave it at that i don't feel no type of way about it and it's not the worst thing in the world i'm just really big on having my own space and i no longer have that so it kind of sucks a little bit but it's no big deal because when i want to move out again i'm just move out again so the long story short i moved from atlanta because it was going to be the best decision for me financially that's pretty much it like i knew i knew i was coming back home because around the time um when i was about to graduate like i wasn't even looking for apartments or anything like that like i just wasn't even concerned i was like i'm just about to go back home i have talked about this a lot in like previous videos about Atlanta, about the cost of living. The cost of living, it is something serious. Like if you wanna be staying in a decent apartment, you're gonna be shelling out some coins, like 1,300, 1,400, 1,500 dollars. Um, that's the norm. Where I come from, cost of living is nowhere near as high as Atlanta. We definitely have, you know, our places that are up there you know downtown and i think downtown is like the place that's like where you're gonna find some some atlanta prices um but other than that like you can definitely find a decent apartment for 400 500 less I did think about going back but I do not want to stay in the city like I would honestly want to stay like somewhere on the outskirts like Duluth or Lawrenceville um I was previously living in like Sandy Springs I did not want to do that uh, <laughs> and the reason why I moved there is because where I was staying at was super close to where I was going to school and then as soon as I moved two months after that pandemic hits and we are no longer going to in-person class we're virtual so i was just like this was like such a waste of time but i did enjoy my time there another thing that i meant to mention earlier was i actually had to pay for my last semester of school well i had to pay for my last may semester, literally the last class for my degree i had to come out of pocket for that and that is another reason why i was like yeah you just need to go back home and save some money because when i had to pay that gsu bill i was in tears literally tears i don't know if i'm going back but if i do y'all won't be the first to know but y'all will know because i'll probably make another video about it so 
that is it that is all that is why i moved away from atlanta and um yeah i don't know where i'm going next but we shall see but if you guys have any questions comments concerns leave them down below be sure to like comment share and subscribe and follow your girl on instagram at buy me alexis and i'll see you guys in my next video they just won't get closer to me getting colder to me you ain't no one to me they won't fuck me over my team way too cautious we too sober to leave at 10 o'clock feeling for the